Jesus did not commit himself to them, for he knew what was in man. John chapter 2 verse 24 to 25 This illusionment means having no more misconceptions, false impressions, and false judgments in life. It means being free from these deceptions. However, though no longer deceived, our experience of disillusionment may actually leave us cynical and overly critical in our judgment of others. But the disillusionment that comes from God brings us to the point where we see people as they really are, yet without any cynicism or any sting and bitter criticism. Many of the things in life that inflict the greatest injury, grief, or pain stem from the fact that we suffer from illusions. We are not true to one another as facts. Seeing each other as we really are, we are only true to our misconceived ideas of one another. According to our thinking, everything is either delightful and good, or it is evil, malicious and cowardly, refusing to be this illusion is the cause of much of the suffering of human life. And this is how that suffering happens. If we love someone but do not love God, we demand total perfection and righteousness from that person. And when we do not get it, we become cruel and vindictive. Yet, we are demanding of a human being something which he or she cannot possibly give. There is only one being who can completely satisfy to the absolute depth of the hurting human heart, and that is the Lord Jesus Christ. Our Lord is so obviously uncompromising with regard to every human relationship because He knows that every relationship that is not based on faithfulness to Himself will end in disaster. Our Lord trusted no one and never placed his face in people. Yet he was never suspicious or bitter. Our Lord's confidence in God and in what God's grace could do for anyone was so perfect that he never despaired, never giving up hope for any person. If our trust is placed in human beings, we will end up despairing of everyone.